Hey everyone, so today I have my wedding makeup tutorial. Finally, it's taken me only like eight months to do this. Everything is generally the same, like products and stuff that I used, but some things I already used up, so I don't have those to use to show you guys. Everything is pretty much, I think, how I did it the day of. I don't have my individual false lashes on just because I just didn't want to put those on because I have stuff to do today. Other than that, this is pretty much what it looked like. I did just kind of a natural look. I didn't want to look too, like, done up, but I wanted to do it a little bit more than what I usually wear, and I usually wear, you know, I wear makeup every day, so I wanted to make it a little bit more dramatic, so I just did darker, like, towards the outer part of my eyes. I used some black and such, like a rosy blush, rosy lip, um, so very, like, soft and romantic and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I had my friend who works for Laura Mercier do my bridesmaids makeup, and their faces were looking like so good and flawless that I had her do my foundation and concealer, and then I just did the rest. So I wasn't planning on it, but I was like, can you do my foundation? So she did my foundation concealer, and then I did like my eyes and my color and all that good stuff. So um, I just texted her to see like what product she actually used because I didn't ask her at the time. So she used the Hydrating Primer, oh, all by Laura Mercier. The Hydrating Primer, Silk Cream Foundation, Secret, Secret Camouflage Concealer for my face, and Secret Concealer for my eyes, and then the Translucent Setting Powder, which I would have used anyways because I have this and love it. So I just wanted to let you know that the products I'm going to use aren't exactly the same, like my foundation, but um, up until that day, I was going to use like this foundation that I'll use for the tutorial, so. First, primer. So I am going to be using my Mira Dewy Finish Primer, but um, I was going to use with just my Sigma Angled Kabuki Brush, but um, at the time, this was like a year, almost a year ago now, so, well not a year ago, like eight months ago, so. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to remember everything that I did, but at the time I was planning on using my Cover FX concealer, concealer, primer, and it's the Cover FX and it has salicylic acid in it and it's for um, like acne, which I wanted to use that one just so I could prevent any breakouts or anything um, for my honeymoon. I had like two of those deluxe sized samples and I just ran out of them and I just I love that stuff so much but make sure you use a primer just because you want everything to set and you want your foundation to just look really flawless and then for foundation I'm using my Makeup Forever HD this is in the shade 118 it's not completely exact to my skin tone right now but this foundation is just beautiful like if anybody asks me for a recommendation for a foundation I always tell them this one just because it just gives such a flawless look to your skin and I just pump some on the back of my hand and then just stipple it on. And you don't want to go too overboard with your foundation because you want your skin to just kind of look like your skin but better. You're going to be taking a lot of pictures and stuff which you want it to look good but you're also going to be talking to a lot of people and you don't want to look like you just have cake face, you know, going on. Um, I'm going to do one more pump after this one kind of sets in. You don't want to put like a ton of foundation on at first if you want like heavier foundation. Do just thin layers. So you'll do like one thin layer and then um, let that dry and then put another layer on top of that. And it's funny because like when I was actually doing my makeup, the day of my wedding, I was so just like, I didn't care. You know, leading up to it, I was so just, what concealer am I going to use? And when the day actually came, I like didn't even care that much, so it's kind of funny. So for my under eyes, I'm using the Lancome Waterproof Under Eye Concealer, and I bought this one because I wanted something waterproof that if I cried or whatever, it would just stay on my eyes. And I have it in here because the shade I had was too light, or too dark, so I had to mix it with another one. And I just pat that underneath. You just want to make sure you really conceal under your eyes and make it look really bright and wide awake. So once I have that packed in, then I'm just going to push it into my skin a little bit more to blend it with my foundation brush. So now I'm going in and spot treating any little red dots, blemishes, anything, just so your face looks completely flawless. This is my Makeup Forever palette. 
go over your chin, your nose, and just any areas that look a little like discolored. Now that we have everything concealed, we can set our makeup in place. So this is the uh, Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Using just a fluffy brush, just put it in the top, tap the excess out, and just dust it over everything. And then I'm going to use just a smaller brush to set my under eye concealer. So now I'm going to prime my eyes with the Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. And this is what I use the day of. It just is a great primer. I don't know, it just evens out my skin tone, gets rid of any veins or discoloration and all of my makeup just stays completely in place. Here's this eye done. I know this looks really freaky when I have one eye done. Okay, moving on to this eye. So first, all I have on is the Painterly Paint Pot right now. And then next, I put on Groundwork, which is like a kind of dark brown, uh, just matte cream eyeshadow. And then I just pop this in my crease, just so it makes my eyeshadow like a little bit darker um, on towards the outer part. So I just worked it in the outer part of the crease and then blend it in. And then once you have a little bit on, I'm going to take a brush and put a little bit more right in the crease just so it's like a little bit more concentrated. And then blend it out with your finger. So now we just get a little bit more dimension to our eye without any eyeshadow yet. Moving on to eyeshadow, I'm using, I basically used my entire Inglot, or not the entire thing, but solely my Inglot palette and just one shade of my MAC eyeshadow. So I will list the colors that I use down below. So first, just using a big fluffy brush, uh, just apply the color right under your brows and then right by your lash line, kind of inside. And then taking a more kind of warm brown, put that in the crease. And then this will just help all of our colors blend a lot easier. So now we can kind of go in and work in some more color. So I'm going to mix these browns, they're just kind of like a warm brown, and then put that in the crease. And just start blending. Then I'm taking this flat brush and this darker brown and patting that in like on the outer part of my eye. Pull it like from the outer corner and then up into the crease. So you have a little bit of lightness right by your lash line. And then taking a fluffier brush, start blending together. Now I'm just like, it's hard to just show a tutorial on exactly what I did because when I'm doing my eyeshadow, I'm like, oh, put a little bit of light brown, a little bit of dark brown, so it's not like one set thing. Like, right now it just looks like it's not blended that much right here, so I'm just going to take some lighter brown and just work that down below, just kind of mix it. So now that we have most of our eyeshadow down, I'm going to do my eyeliner and then come back in and make it darker and a little bit more defined. So taking an eyeliner brush and a matte brown, I just line my lash line with the powder and then I'll top it off with an actual liquid. This way it's just easier to apply, you don't get any mistakes really. And then this is my Physician's Formula Eye Booster.
And I did a little bit of a wing. Not much though. And then go back in with the black shadow and smudge it out a little bit. Okay, so I'm taking this purple by MAC. I don't know what color this is. It's just like a deep plum color with this brush and just putting a little bit of that in my crease just so I don't have all browns going on. It gives it a little bit more depth. And then I'm going to take my black and brown shades, mix those together, and concentrate them right on the outer part of our eye. Now I'm just blending my eyeshadow up and towards my brow with just one of the lighter browns. Uh, take a smaller brush and a shimmery champagne color and pop that right on the inner tear duct and just a little bit under your eyebrow. And make sure when you're doing like a little bit of a highlight you really blend it out because um, It'll really pick up on camera if it's not blended out. And I just kind of look at my shadow and see where I need to add more. I remember I didn't really add any black shadow at first, and then I went in and showed my mom, and she was like, I think you need to go a little darker, just because it doesn't, you know, pick up as well on camera. So I remember I just made the outer part a little bit darker. I'm going to do my bottom eyeliner, just taking my Chanel Marine eyeliner. It's just a nice, rich pencil and I lined my entire waterline. And then go in with the black shadow and top it off. And now we're going to smudge everything underneath. So first I'm going to take just a dark brown right on the outer part. And then on the inner part, I'm taking my champagne color and just a nude and going right under that. And then to mix the two together, take a warm brown and blend them together. So then you just get a little like smudginess down below. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. And the mascara that I used was, I'm using right now my Revlon Grow Luscious, but uh, I used the Lancome Hypnos Drama and Lancome Definicils, which I absolutely love, but I kind of just splurged since it was my wedding. But this mascara is really good too. But um, those mascaras, the especially the Hypnos Drama, you have to kind of practice with it because it's a little wet, so don't just like buy it and use it on your wedding day, the first day. And then same thing for the bottom. And I also used the Lancome Primer. I used the um, Sills Booster XL, which makes your lashes super long. Okay, I'm going to clean up my brows right now just because they're kind of bugging me. So I'm just taking my Anastasia Brow Powder and just outlining them a little bit more. So moving on to my face, I'm going to contour a little bit. I used my Smashbox bronzer, but I probably now would have used my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil if I had it. And then this is my Sony Kashuk little contouring brush. And then just start contouring your cheeks. And just use a powder brush to bring this down to your neck. And then for blush, I combined two blushes. I used the Tarte Exposed, which is like a just a rosy natural blush. And then I mixed that with the Bobbi Brown Pale Pink, which is a more 
kind of vibrant pink. So taking my blush brush, this is the Sigma F40. First I'm going to put exposed just on the apples of my cheeks and blend that back. And then now taking a little bit of the Bobbi Brown and popping that right in the center. to kind of brighten it up a little bit. You want to do a little extra blush because it's not going to show up as much on camera. And then for highlighter I use my Mary Luminizer by The Balm. You got to be very sparingly with this, especially for pictures and stuff. So put some in your stippling brush, tap it out on your hand. And I just did a little bit on the tops of my uh, cheekbones. And I think that was all I did. And then just set everything in place with um, a setting spray. I use the All Nighter by Urban Decay. And then for my lips, I lined them with the Urban Decay 24-7 in Naked. And then for my lipstick, I used the Estee Lauder Pink Berry. So this is everything finished. The only thing that I don't have on right now is my false lashes. I just used like individual lashes and I literally put like eight on each eye and I would just, you know, put a little bit of eyeshadow glue, eyeshadow glue, eyelash glue on the back of your hand, let it get a little tacky and then you just dip them in a little bit and I would just place them on my lash line and, you know, keep working your way in. When they dry, I would set a little bit of black eyeshadow on top and it would just kind of get rid of any, um, you couldn't see anything. And then also if you're going to curl your lashes again with the fake lashes, make sure you're very careful and like press very gently with your eyelash curler because fake lashes curl a lot. Um, so you just have to be very, very gentle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and also I return, like if you guys have a question for me, um, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter because I respond to those questions like all the time. It is super hard for me to get back to all of your guys' comments. I try, but a lot of the times if I delete it on my phone, it'll get deleted in my inbox and then I'll never see it. So if you have a question for me, find me on Twitter or uh, Facebook and I'll most likely get back to you that way. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!